Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the gene with the greatest known number of alternatively spliced message RNAs is a Drosophila fruit fly gene called DSCAM. All of its mature message RNA contains 24 exons, however, as this figure shows, there are mutually exclusive choices for exons 4, 6, 9 and 17, assuming all possible combinations are used, how many different message RNAs can the DSCAM gene produce. And before I will show you calculations, which are very easy, I want to talk a little bit more about this unique gene. And it is said that this is very unique gene because it can produce uh, the greatest number of um, alternatively uh, spliced uh, variants of this gene. So, uh, first of all, uh, I want to talk about the uh, name of this gene. Uh, the name is DSCAM, which stands for Down Syndrome Cell Adhesive Molecule. And you may ask why this gene that is found in um, fruit fly has the name Down Syndrome. Because it's obvious that um, Down Syndrome is caused by extra copy of the chromosome 21 and we are so distantly related with uh, insects that probably we shouldn't have anything to do with them because uh, our ways separated about uh, half a billion years ago. So actually uh, we have the same gene in uh, humans and in insects that are homologous, not exactly the same but homologous. And unlike uh, gene uh, of the humans that can produce tens uh, variants of the same gene due to alternative splicing, this gene in um, Drosophila can produce tens of thousands of different variants of the same gene, uh, uh, variants of the messenger RNA, and that means variants of the proteins due to alternative splicing. And actually, the total number of genes in Drosophila is about 15,000. And number of uh, alternative variants of this one gene exceeds the number of the um, genes in this insect. So, I will explain why this gene is so important and why it has uh, Down syndrome name. So in multicellular organism uh, we have many cells that have to adhere to each other because otherwise for example if we would go and wash our hands in the morning we would shed our cells. So our cells have to be connected by special adhesive molecules that would connect um, adjacent cells and would hold them strong together. And uh, when we would have different cell lines, we shouldn't have uh, such uh, molecules that would connect uh, different tissues. For example, our kidneys is not connected to other tissues of our organism, for example, are not connected to our stomach or intestine. Instead, uh, all our organs are separated, but within organs we see that cells would be tightly uh, connected to each other. So the question how cells recognize if they belong to the same tissues or not. And actually this gene would help, because this gene produces cell adhesive molecules. In other words, uh, cell adhesive proteins and if two cells would have the same type of uh, proteins they would recognize and would connect two cells. Uh, another connection can be when uh, two cells would have different uh, variants of the surface uh, adhesive molecules still they can connect or in some cases they can reject connection between cells. And also um, cells has uh, 
matrix of uh, proteins and this adhesive proteins can connect to this extracellular matrix. So as you see different variants exist how cells uh, would be connected to each other or if uh, there not going to be connection between cells because the cells would express different proteins on their surface. Now let's return to the name of the gene. Uh, why this gene is important and got the name uh, Down syndrome uh, cell adhesive uh, molecule because our nerve tissue is very different from any other tissues. For example, you may see pictures of the nerve uh, tissues that looks like this. As you see, the structure is very different from uh, previous examples that I show you. And uh, every nerve has many branches, sometimes hundreds and thousands of such branches. And for nerve cells it is very important uh, that these branches wouldn't attach um, to themselves. Because uh, the most important function of the nerve tissue would be transduction of the nerve signals. And in order to perform this function, transduction have to be from one nerve cell to another one and to another one. This function is performed through the connection of uh, dendrites uh, with axons and it is very important that cell would be able to recognize itself so these branches wouldn't touch. Otherwise we can get uh, such situation when uh, nerve tissue would be self innervated just for example like our hearts self innervated uh, our hearts don't need any external signal for beating so basically the main function of this gene would be expressing a unique um, combination of proteins uh, and once again this is surface protein so cell would be able to recognize itself and avoid itself so we call this self-avoiding and in down syndrome because uh, presence of the extra copy of this gene this function is disrupted and that leads to uh, certain phenotypic changes and especially brain uh, malfunctioning so uh, basically uh, because this gene can produce tens of thousands of different variants of the surface proteins this allows uh, every uh, nerve cell to be individualized. We also can compare it with barcoding or we also can say that each cell would have its own fingerprint in the form of surface proteins that would make every single cell unique. So let's uh, now return to our gene. So this is gene structure. In our problem we were told that this gene consists of 24 exons but uh, out of 24 exons only exon 4, 6, 9 and 17 would be alternatively spliced and all the rest would be stable in all the uh, uh, messenger RNA and in all proteins. Only uh, these fragments may have uh, alternative forms and what is interesting that um, these exons here, for example, exon number four, actually, this is cassette that consists of 12 different variants of the exon number four. But these uh, exons are mutually exclusive. That means that only one would be expressed and the rest would be spliced off. And the same is true for exon number four. It has 48 different variants only one would be present in the mature messenger RNA and uh, exon number 9 has 33 different variants only one would be found in the mature messenger RNA because 
these axons uh, are mutually exclusive. And the same is true for axon number 17. So how many different variants this gene can produce? How many different variants of the messenger RNA? And also that means how many different variants of the surface protein. And actually we have to multiply all these uh, variants. So once again 12 variants exist for exon number 4. We have to multiply by 48 variants for exon number 6. So by 48. And we have to multiply by 33 variants that exist for exon number 9. So by 33. And we have to multiply by two variants that exist for exon uh, number 17. So multiplied by two. So total number of different variants of the messenger RNA would be 38,016. And this is going to be our answer today. Once again, note uh, that this gene is very unique and can produce more variants of the proteins, uh, more variants of the alternative uh, uh, messenger RNA than uh, some of all genes, which make about 15,000 genes in um, this fruit fly. And for example, in uh, humans, we have about 23,000 genes, and these 23,000 genes make about 100,000 proteins. That means that every human gene has about five uh, different uh, variants of the product due to alternative splicing. But as you see, in fruit fly, we have one gene that is so unique that makes more variants uh, of the surface proteins than the whole genome that consists uh, of 15,000 genes. And once again, those humans have also homologous um, gene. Uh, this gene in humans produce only tens uh, of different variants, about 30 or 40 uh, different variants, because other genes also participate in uh, individualization of our cells. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.